everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how you can create one of my new favorite Shadow of the Earth tree builds to destroy the strongest bosses of the game incredibly fast. The Dragon Communion incantations are very unique attacks that feature the power of different dragons that we can find across the lands between and the land of shadows. With the new dragon transformation, Rockheart, we can potentially increase the performance of these incantations to the skies, allowing us to maintain a great performance even in the hardest scenarios of the DLC. What I like the most about this build is that it's ready to obliterate every type of enemy regardless of their resistance. We have every type of damage covered, physical, fire, lightning and magic damage. Basically, we are prepared to rule the game on its entirety. Dragon Ma is the most effective for physical damage. Bale's Tyranny and a Guild's Flame will have fire damage ready. Bale's Flame Lightning will shock some foes out there and Smarag's Glintstone Bread will disappear everything on its way. The only counterpart I can address about this setup is the speed of each attack. You need to have a decent awareness of your target's moveset in order to find the right position and timing to make an effective use of these incantations. Some some of them will grant you hyper armor preventing you from getting interrupted which is extremely useful while some others will just get completely cancelled as soon as an enemy hits you. However, the most important part of this build is how powerful and fun it actually is. Running this configuration you have tons of hours of max damage guaranteed. Anyways, don't be afraid if you are not used to run only incantations. With the stats we'll use we can rock the most broken corpse swords of the game with this. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Explaining the equipment of this build is going to be a little bit more complex than with other builds, specifically because as I told you at the start of the video we are covering a lot of damage types. Therefore with each incantation we are going to be using a different setup. First I will explain the items that you will need for the build in general and then I will explain the specific items that you will use to boost the power of a specific incantation. This will help us to get the most out of our build. We are going to be using two Dragon Communion seals on plus 10 to cast our incantations and to cast our main buffs. These seals will allow us to deal the max amount of damage possible with our incantations because of the scale values giving us a great incant scaling and because it has a passive effect that will boost the Dragon Communion incantations and it will stack if we use two of them. But if you are not very used to play only with incantations or if you want to get more control over your boss fights, here we have a few weapons that you can use. First the Uchigatan on plus 25 with the Unsheet Ashuvar on the Occult Affinity or you can use two Bandit Scorp Swords on plus 25 with the Seppuku Ashuvar to be able to use the Broken Power Stance moveset of the Corp Swords. These weapon choices will perform incredibly good with our stats distribution. In most cases we will use the Faithful Canvas Talisman and the Flux Canvas Talisman. These two talismans will stack together to boost the power of our incantations for a total of 12%. We are going to be using the Dragon Transformation Rockheart. If we use this item while in Dragon form it will increase the damage of the Dragon Communion incantations for a total of 20% and it will stack with the passive effect of our two dragon communion seals. That's why I am not using any armor set because when you use dragon transformation regardless of the nature of it you can't use any armor set. These incantations demand a decent amount of stamina so be sure to craft some pickle turtle legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. And in our flask of wondrous physique in every case we are going to use the blood sucking crack tier. Now let's jump straight into the specific cases. For dragon ma that only features physical damage we are going to use the blood dancer charm and the lord of blood's exultation. We are going to trigger the effect of the Lord of Blood's Exultation with one of our weapons that have Seppuku. This is a one time use so it will only work for 20 seconds at the start of the fight. However, if you don't like the idea of using Seppuku before each fight you don't have to do it. So even if you go like this without any other talisman it is going to be great. We can say that you have a free spot to experiment with your build. But to deal the max amount of damage possible the Lord of Blood's Exultation and a weapon with Seppuku can be combined very well here. The Blue Dancer Charm will work as a Scorpion Charm but for physical damage. The, the only requirement to get the most out of this talisman is to have our equip load very very low. In this case we are under 9 so we are getting a very decent boost from this talisman. In our physic flask the only tier we can combine with the blood sucking crack tier to increase the damage of this incantation specifically is the faint not crystal tier because there isn't another tier dedicated specifically for the physical damage like the fire shouting crack tier or the lightning shouting crack tier or those tiers that are dedicated for the elemental damage. And the faint not crystal tier will increase our damage slightly but once it is multiplied it is going to be a very decent amount of extra damage. And with this incantation we are 
you're going to be dealing only physical damage. That's why in this particular case, the best body buff is going to be Blood Boil Aromatic. But if you don't like crafting, this build is prepared to use Hall of Shabriri. So feel free to use that one or even Flame Grant me strength. For Bale's Tyranny and Agil's Flame, we are going to use the Talisman of the Dread and the Fire Scorpion Charm. The Talisman of the Dread will only affect Bale's Tyranny and the Fire Scorpion Charm will affect both. If you only want to use Agil's Flame and not Bale's Tyranny, you can replace the Talisman of the Dread with the Roar Medallion. This one you will get the max damage from Agil's Flame. Anyways, I will use mostly the new Bale spell, so I will prioritize using the Talisman of the Dread and the Fire Scorpion Charm with the original setup. And for this one, we are going to combine the Blood Sucking Crack Tear with the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear. A simple way to rock Bale's Flame Lining is using the Lining Scorpion Charm with the Fire Scorpion Charm, the original setup, and in the tier, the Lining Shrouding Crack Tear and the Blood Sucking Crack Tear. However, if you use this one just as it is, you are going to take a bunch of hits and probably you will die a lot of times. So I'll share with you my very high IQ setup in where we are going to use the Ochiga Tan on plus 25 with Onshida Shuvard on the Cold Affinity. What I am going to do with this katana is to break the stance of our targets to activate the Blade of Mercy and the Lord of Blood's Exultation. With only 5 hits of the Onshida Shuvard, we can do both things on most of targets. We can get the critical hit and we can get the Bleed Proc to get the Lord of Blood's Exultation active. This way we will stack a total of 40% more damage when we decide to use the incantation in our targets, allowing us to deal a tremendous amount of damage in only one hit. This is a way to guarantee that you are not going to take any hit cause your target will be defeated in that specific moment. And for Smarax Glintstone Breath, we are going to use the Magic Scorpion Charm and the Roar Medallion with the original setup and the Magic Shouting Crack Tear with the Blood Sucking Crack Tear. With that, we will deal a very good amount of damage with this incantation, which is one of the most powerful incantations of the Dragon Communion. In order to obtain the max performance of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 30 on Mind, 35 on Endurance, only 12 on Strength, only 15 on Dexterity, 40 on Faith, and 90 on Arcane. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. A Gil's Flame, Smarax, Glintstone Breath, Breath, Dragoma, Bale's Tyranny, and Bale's Flame Lining are going to be the best incantations for this setup. And as you can see, I have my Scattership Blessing on the level 20, and if you want to deal the same amount of damage as I will do, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to buff your character with this build, and the buff routine will be the same regardless of the incantations you want to use. First, we are going to use the Rock Heart item to transform into a Dragon, then we are going to use our Flask of Wondrous Physic, immediately we will cast Golden Vow, and we will use a Pickle turtle neck. Once we have done that, we are going to use Rock Heart again to increase the potential of the Dragon Communion Incantations, refill your HP, your FP, and cast Hall of Shabriri, and with that you will be more than ready to go. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Come on. Oh! <laughs> okay. Nice. Come on. Let's go, baby! Come on! Let's go crazy. Come on. Amazing, bro. That is very nice. Okay. Oh, amazing. Come on, baby. Let's go. No serpent. Hey, okay, come here. Are you ready? Amazing. Come on, baby. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Here we go. Come 
No! Oh my god. Quickly. Nice. There you go. Yeah, nice, we got it. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on. Give it to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, baby. Bro. Oof, that was a little bit uncomfortable, honestly. Let's go. Beautiful. Quickly. Come on. Take that with heat, homie. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. 